Chuck Norris, kittens, narwhals. What do they all have in common? Well, they're all amazing creatures, but they're also all mammals. Now, mammals come in all shapes and sizes. And as you look around this room, you can probably tell that marine mammals come in all shapes and sizes as well. Today, we're going to be focusing on one specific group of marine mammals called the order of cetacea or cetaceans. Now, cetaceans are going to be all our whales, dolphins, and porpoises. The word cetacea actually means large sea animal or even sea monster. When we talk about cetaceans, we have two major suborders. We have our odontocetes, which are our toothed whales, and then we have our mystocetes, which are our baleen whales. Odontocetes have one blowhole. They also have a mouth filled with teeth, just like you, me, and some of our grandparents. Now, these toothed whales hunt by using something called echolocation or biosonar. Now, the way this works, they'll make a very high frequency sound up in their nasal passages. That sound is sent through a fatty filled area in their forehead called the melon, which basically focuses that sound. Now, as it travels through the water, it'll eventually bounce off something, come back, and then they can actually feel that vibration in their lower jaws. By timing the amount of time it takes for that sound to leave their melon and come back to their lower jaw, they can kind of figure out a mental map of how far away things are and where they're located. Baleen whales have two blowholes, and instead of having teeth in their mouth, they have large plates of baleen hanging from the roof of their mouth. Baleen is made from keratin, so it's the same material you find in your fingernails as well as in your hair. The way mysticetes hunt is they'll suck in large amounts of water. As they push those amounts of water back out, it'll get caught on the bristly inside of the baleen. Now, the name mysticete actually translates to mustached sea monster. As you can see on the inside, it's much more bristly, almost like a toothbrush, whereas the outside is more rose, like plates. Now, as they push that water back out, lots of tiny little things like plankton, krill, small fish, and so on, will get trapped in all these bristles and be a food source for the whales. So which cetacean feeding method makes more sense to you? The method of the odontocetes, like our sperm whales, our dolphin family, and our beluga whales, who will spend their whole day hunting for one big meal? Or the method of our mysticetes, like our blue whales, humpback whales, and fin whales, who will get lots of tiny meals throughout the day that they have to filter through, kind of like me with these Rice Krispies. Cetaceans are some of the most captivating and mysterious animals on our planet. We have odontocetes, like the killer whale, which is considered by many to be one of the top predators in the sea. On the other end, we have a mysticete, like the blue whale, which is the largest animal on the planet. While both odontocetes and mysticetes have very different styles of feeding, both of them have mastered life in the ocean.